The Department of Psychiatry at Indiana University was one of the first departments of psychiatry in the nation to recognize the importance of combining and melding clinical care and research and has a history of literally having laboratories close to the patient units so that information could be quickly translated from the clinic to the lab and the lab to the clinic. There's an explosion of new information in, in all areas of science of the brain, in genetics, in neurochemistry, in neurocircuitry. We at IU think that we're particularly well positioned to advance the field in that we've got the infrastructure of, of state-of-the-art technologies, a vast patient base, and a community of outstanding scientists. Brain science has gotten so complex. The effort has required so many subdomains of expertise. So I kind of see, in, in a sense, um, translation being a way for these increasingly distinct fields to be able to integrate and communicate. Translation is about how do we see the big picture. In terms of my own research, I like to see it as how does the basic science we're doing translate to how we deliver psychiatric care? How do we train psychiatrists? Um, if, if you find that there is a biological link between addictions and mental illness um, that's very intimate, then it would predict that we need to be training psychiatrists to be able to treat both disorders um, in a balanced way. The Indiana University residency training program is unique in that uh, we really have a more progressive view of education. Uh, our goal is to treat the psychiatrists of the future, not of today. And uh, one of the main ways that we do that is we integrate what has previously been taught in silos, meaning uh, the biological psychiatry and the psychodynamic psychiatry, and put them together and train the resident early on how to integrate these views. The faculty care a lot about the education of the residents, so they don't take that lightly. They do treat us like colleagues, so I feel like I'm on the same level, but at the same time they are uh, making sure we are trained to do this job well. It's important for the general medical students to learn about psychiatry because psychiatric patients exist everywhere. Uh, they need to know how to help these people, whether they're on psychiatry or they're in other fields of medicine. My work here at the Outpatient Center involves working with a lot of um, patients with mood and anxiety disorders. Basically adults with mood and anxiety problems, they're working, they're living and working in the community. When I came in about a year ago, I was really going through some stressful situations. It was just a time where I wanted to try something new besides medicine. So it was kind of a last alternative. RTMS is a newer treatment modality for depression where patients have not received adequate response to a trial of a, a standard medication treatment. One of the benefits is it's a treatment that is not a pharmacotherapy, not a medicine. It's uh, something that is relatively non-invasive compared to other major treatments for depression. It's something that complements other therapies that the patient's getting. Patients uh, can often respond within the first week or two since the treatment, it's been excellent. You know, I haven't been back, so, I mean, that must be good news, but it's, it's a whole world of difference in my life now, so it's been, it's been wonderful. Park is a unique center. It is the only center in the entire state of Indiana that focuses on young people, roughly ages 16 to 25, who are at the beginning of their first psychotic experience. So by having this unique resource, we're able to focus on this group and, as we like to say, attempt to prevent the preventable. Since working with Park, everything has changed. I'm no longer experiencing any type of symptoms from my mental illness. Coming in, I didn't know right from left. I couldn't tell you everything I knew Everything I believed was just this kind of this fantasy world for a short while. And then I came in, I was put on the medication I needed, and as such, I was able to, I'm able to now live a healthy and productive life. The mantra 
of the Department of Psychiatry at Indiana University is the patient. So our clinical mission, our research mission, which includes both basic and clinical research, and our educational mission all points to the patient. And our reason to be at Indiana University Department of Psychiatry is improving patient outcomes.